where civil blood makes civil hands unclean. William Shakespeare's Letters from Iwo Jima. From forth the fatal loins of these two foes, a pair of star-crossed lovers take their life. Hmm, so star-crossed. Whose misadventures I guess they had a bad horoscope that day. Overthrows do with their death. Bury their parents' strife. Oh, jeez. Gave away the whole story in the very beginning. Oh, oh, well. I guess I'll watch and pretend I didn't hear all that stuff about you know, the main characters dying. <laughs> oh, it's bulging. Oh. <laughs> but the quarrel is between our masters and us, their men. Ah, it is all one. Here come the house of the Montagues. Do you think their bulges are bigger than ours? Good morning. Ah, good morning to you, sir. Quarrel. I will back thee. Right. I'll just be over here. Come. Let's see. Let's on. <laughs> Oh, sorry. We were spitting on ants. Do you bite your thumb at us, sir? Hmm? I do bite my thumb, sir. <laughs> do you bite your thumb at us, sir? Okay. Um, no, sir. Okay. Ah, I do not bite my thumb at you, uh -huh. sir. But I do bite my thumb, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, the thumb-biting argument. Possibly some of Shakespeare's <laughs> finest work. Quarrel, sir? Hmm. No, no, no. No, sir. If you do, sir, I am for you. I serve as good a man as you. No better? Yes, better, sir. That better? You lie. <laughs> oh, oh, burned. Oh, yeah, not really. Ooh, a backstab. That's two times damage. 